Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Today we're going to look at a deck. We're going to look at a very difficult deck to pilot. We're going to look at Shutterwalk Shaman. Um, in my top decks video, I showed you uh, how the combo worked. Basically, basically you want to play out your Serenite Chain Gangs and a Grumble so that you copy Shutterwalk and bounce a copy to your hand. Okay, So it's important that the Serenite Chain Gang activation happens before Grumble if you want to get another copy of Shutterwalk. Now, in some matchups, that's not necessary to win the game. You can just win the game by playing Shutterwalk one time. Now, th that's going to depend on the matchup or whatnot. So we're going to go about it. You see the deck list here. I have the deck tracker open. So as we play, we're going to try to talk about the cards, when to keep things, when to throw them back, and how they work. Uh, things I want to point out is how does this deck win? Versus aggro, you just sustain and stabilize. So you get your early game cards, you wipe the, you clear the board a couple times, maybe force them to overcommit. Then you heal yourself out of lethal range, and you win by just having more card value in hand than they can keep up with, right? Versus slower decks, you win by getting infinite value from Shutterwalk. Now, remember, Shutterwalk's battle cry effects happen randomly. The order is random. So, obviously, you want to maximize the chance that the Serenite Chain Gang effect happens. That means in those slow... Uh, uh, that means in those slow matchups, you see... Uh, you want to make sure you play double chain gang out. You want to maybe bounce the chain gangs. You maybe want to play um, uh, You maybe want to play uh, I'm sorry. What is the card called Zola the Gorgon and then play Grumble to bounce the Zola so that when you play Shutterwalk you can copy Shutterwalk with Zola I mean there's there's different lines of play and we're just gonna take a look at all of them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, let's do it. Right here we go, guys. Finally, we got a match. Let's go now. See the deck on the right side. We're challenging a druid. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I, you know what? A hard matchup is to totem or token druid. I'm gonna assume it's taunt druid. Okay. I'm making a big assumption here. Now there are cards that I always want. Keliseth. That's always gonna be a keep, no matter what the matchup is. I'm never gonna throw Keliseth back. Um, but against slower decks, I want Hemet. You know, and like these cards are not like in some situations, like Lightning Bolt would be a keep, uh, Volcano could be a keep. But for here, since I have no idea what my opponent's deck, and I'm really hedging that he's playing Taunt, I really want to make sure I maximize my chance of getting Hemet. Okay, so we're throwing everything back because those are situational types of cards, we don't necessarily need those. This is not much better, but if this is Taunt Druid, Hex is going to be really good. There's Hemet. That's good. The reason why Hemet is good here is because anything that costs more than three, it's either Hex or it's a combo card. So that means it is good because playing the combo earlier means winning earlier. Okay? And that's what we want to do. We want to get to as close to winning, as close to having the win before our opponent plays his nine mana Hardranox. Okay? Uh, okay, we'll just put another token here. All right, all right. All right. So we got a couple slow turns here, but let's see if we can get there. Now, we still don't know. He might not be playing Taunt. He might be playing uh, Token Druid. Well, it looks like it's Taunt. Let's get there. Let's get there. Now, remember, I want to play this Hemet on six. I want to get that on the right turn. So I know for a fact that next turn I can't use Overload. Okay. So I'm going to have a slow turn here. And it is actually okay 
to hex smaller targets. We're not going to because, I mean, he has a lot of mana. Uh, and, you know, he has a lot of mana. So, you know, I, I, I do have to fear, you know, some big threat soon. So we're just going to, we're going to slow play our hand. We're not in danger of being killed yet, right? So... Okay, he took armor and he took so that that kind of tells me that he if, if he took armor he probably has spellstone in hand, uh, which means he probably can kill my hemet here, but that's okay. We still want to put it out. Let's clear these out. Now we're down to seven cards and those seven cards are important for a combo. We need to draw into them. So let's hope that we get there. Like, I really want to hex something big. If I'm lucky enough to hex a Hardranox, I win the game. Like, the game ends. But, uh, you know, there are other good targets. The Lich King is a good target. Probably in this matchup, maybe even... Yeah, I don't know. There are multiple good targets that we can hit. And we, uh, we're pretty confident that this is Taunt Druid. And remember, this is, Taunt Druid just wins straight up. Like, they get the Harjin knocks out, they, f they fill the board. We, it's going to be difficult to answer because a Volcano is just not going to do enough damage. There it is. He wants to play Lich King. Let's see it. Boom. So there we go. Lich King is out. Okay, we're going to kill this first. Kill that out. Hex. Uh, I think I'm going to play Hackett for the next turn, so we'll just... I maybe, I, you know what, I should have healed. I Maybe I should have healed there. It's okay, we did what we did. So this is good, because now, when we kill it, he's going to have a frog in his pool of things to bring back with Witching Hour. So, that's good. We want that. But it has to die. We have to kill the frog. Since he hasn't played a hard knock shot, we don't really, we're not worrying too much about it. This is already a big, big deal for him. Now, something about Hagatha, though, is remember that when you play minions, she replaces it with a spell in your hand, okay? So I only have one minion in my hand right now, so I don't really have to worry too much. But you got to keep that in mind if your hand gets full. Okay, we have seven cards, so we're kind of okay. Um, just really depends on the matchup, too. Into resting. Ooh, swiped it out. Interesting. Let's clear that board. Let's clear it. Let's put a Hagatha out there. Let's heal up a little bit. Yeah. Because remember, Hagatha is just not the board clear. It's also a heal for five. So for eight mana, with what I have in my hand, that is probably the best use of my mana. Because if I played Volcano, I wouldn't have been able to play Vol uh, Hagatha this turn. Okay. Yeah, burn all that. Holy cow. I love it. <sighs> We're not going to hex that. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for... Ooh, we're going to wait for a couple things, actually. But for now, I can go ahead and play this out. 
Man, we have some good options here. We have great options. It's a slow play. Yeah, life drinker, Saturday night chain gangs. Yikes. Yikes, what is the option here? Cube? Oh no, okay. Okay. It's not smart, man. What our opponent is doing is not the smartest play. Now there was another option there. I could have played the rumble to bounce this grumble to bounce these things back to my hand, but I would have overdrawn. Uh, gosh, man. So it's really that's a hard one to decide there. But he's not pushing yet, right? This board is not very overly aggressive, so we can kind of afford to slow play that turn. Just put the Serenite chain going. I want one more chain gang activation. That's a big play. Let's see how much that guy burns for. Do not like, but um, need to free. Ooh, that's a good miss. That's one less card for him to activate Hadronox with. Remember, right now he has a. He can't Witching Hour yet, right? He needs to play Hadronox. So maybe it's at the bottom. Maybe he hasn't gotten to it yet. Uh. We're going to need a little more value, boys. Let me get let me get one more chain gang activation. Then I'll feel... Remember, we played chain gang twice so far. So it would actually be really nice if I could get... Uh, well, see, he's drawing deep. All that armor is great, but it's not going to kill us. So he's really looking for that, that Hadronox here. So we got a chain gang. That's a pretty good situation for us. We're going to play it out. And we'll play this out. Let's kill this. Now, even if he plays, even if he goes wide and plays Spreading Plague, it doesn't matter because we play a we'll play a Shutter Walk at some point, and we're gonna be fine. And we don't even have to rush Shutter Walk yet. Okay, Shutter Walk does not need to be rushed yet. We're still in a good situation. There's Hadronox. He's gonna naturalize, of course, right? Let's see him build that board. Okay, now we're g now he's gonna have to deal with a lot of uh, frogs. So this is the second frog. Okay, so now he's gonna have two frogs in this pool. Should we maximize it and just see if we can get a third frog? I don't know. T 
16 cards in my hand. Witching hour, game over. Okay, so GG, well played, right? So you see how the deck is pretty cool. Like you gotta think of different lines of play. This line of play, we didn't even really have to go to the combo. We just needed to maximize the chance that he got the frog, and we did. And we got really. I don't want to say we got lucky. I don't think we got lucky. I think we really outplayed our opponent there. But definitely, fun deck, worth trying. Um, if you guys like what you see, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash consanity. Or um, maybe you don't catch me live, but you can catch the VODs to see when I play those decks. But definitely a fun deck, worth trying. If you want to try it, description is in the, the deck code is in the description below. Give it a try and let me know what you think. See you guys next time.